Hello, planner friends. It's Foxy Miss with Plans, and I'm back with part two of my planner collection slash storage. Um, in this video, it's I'm pretty much showing you just how I store everything else. In the first video, I did go over my four binders, so all of my kits are in there, as as well as my four photo albums full of my tinier like sample sheets and all that. So here you're going to see the rest of my collection of planner goodies and accessory items. And first, I'm going to start with, let's see, I did really well with notebook type things. So we're just going to start with these three here and starting with this one. So in this pouch, um, some of you may know if you've seen previous videos or posts on my Instagram, I do use A5 planners. Um, I, I've loved the A5 system for a long time. Um, it's just so convertible, so easy. I can put it down, pick it back up, and like, it's just amazing. But um, something new I purchased this year, I did feature these in a haul, but they are inserts from Felicity Jane, and the inserts are by Plan to Create, Julie K. And I just store them in the pouch. The pouch is amazing. It's good quality, and my inserts, sorry, that was loud, are so secure in here that I love just keeping them in, in here. I do something different for my personal inserts, but as far as A5, that's where I store those for right now. All the other ones just kind of fit in the planner. The next thing I have here is this three pocket organizer. And I'm showing it to you here just because I was not able to find it online at all. And so, and um, I will have a link down below that will take you to my blog that has links to all of this stuff for both videos. I'm going to just do a big blog post. Um, and I've got to get a schedule for that, but I um, will have links if you're ever wondering. But this is one item I won't be able to link just because I can't find it. Even Amazon does not have this from what I could tell so far. Um, so if anyone does seem to find it, please leave the link below in the comments and I'll add it to my blog. But for right now, I just can't find it. But I love this. I found it at Staples the other day, um, that day that I was running errands in my Insta stories. Oh girl, I was so happy when I saw these that I bought two. That's how good this is. So right now in here, I've got these extras. Um, they're just the sheet protectors I use in my binders, but this right here, I'm going to move this out of the way. This right here is how I store all of my leftovers, my freebies and samplers, just all in here. I know they're in this binder. So yeah, that's what I have here. And I love this because I just know if I'm ever looking for a sheet of leftovers that I want to work with, I just come to this binder, pop this open, flip through, see what I've got. And that's it. Same thing with my samplers. I have them in here kind of by shop and size, but they're all in one place. This is the best way I feel that I've found to do it. I've tried using like the photo albums and stuff and I could totally go back to that because I have extras, but they take up a lot of space. And this is space saving right here. Whether it's completely organized is questionable. I just love it because they're not all over the place. They're not slipping and sliding around. I don't have to fumble to get through all of them. Whereas, you know, sometimes using like the binders and the photo albums, if I'm looking for a leftover, I'm just like, can I not just find it already? Whereas this, I'll just dump it out and look for it anyway. That's what I've been doing. So I love this. Absolutely love this. And then it struck me. I was like, this would be really great for pre-planning or planning on the go. And so that's why I have the second one here. And I got it in my favorite color, purple. And I thought, you know, if I use a kit, I can put my kit in here. Um, most kits I think would totally fit in here, no problem. And then I can put any like additional sheets of functional items, characters, whatever, die cuts, totally put them in here. And um, maybe I have like a few cards in here with all of my favorite washies. Like that would be, I feel like putting this in with my planner and just planning on the go would be awesome. So that's why I picked this up and I can't wait to use it when I start um, when I get to the spreads that I can actually pre-plan right now, I've got so many spreads already put down in my planner because I plan by the month and not by the week. Um, I just, I can't get there yet. When we get to August is when you'll probably see a lot more plan with me. So right now I'll just do some monthlies just because those aren't planned out yet, but I'm very much a sticker therapy person and I'll just start putting them down. I, I, I can't explain it. All right. So those are done. And next we're going to get into my washi collection. Sorry, that was loud, but, um, I do have quite a bit of washi, 95% of which is from Simply Gilded. And I keep my absolute favorites or my newbies in here. This is just a pencil case I got off of Amazon. It came in a set of three. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. But here I have all of these washies. So I have these in here along with all of these purties. Um, I am on a mission to collect all the bow washi um, that I can. And so I get really upset when I miss out on some, but, um, you know, 
just got to get through it, right? But yeah, that's all the washi I have in here. But then I have additional washi here. And so we've got these right here are all the business cards. I try and keep at least one from a shop. And then these that I picked up are dashboards. This one came from Simply Gilded. This is from Organizing Companion. And this one um, is from My Newest Addiction. Then I have the rest of my washi collection here. And underneath are just some pieces of cardboard that I was using for my previous sticker storage. But since I've changed it, I didn't really need them. But they, they worked for this for now. I also have some coil clips. I only have two sizes. I have these, um, like the middle size. And then I have these small ones just because um, I really didn't need one bigger than that. So yeah, that's all the washi. That was quick. And then on top of that, I'm gonna snap this. Okay, this is, and I'm gonna talk about this really quick. This is called a snapware. I hope you can see that, but I got these from Michaels. They were 50% off. So I got two. So I have an empty one just sitting up here. That used to be how I stored all of my kits, all of my functional sheets, just everything. But that wasn't a really good system. So that's why I switched to the mini binders. Um, I have since like, they just kind of, I use these two and the other two I have just kind of sit and do a lot of nothing. So um, I don't know, part of me thought I could spread out my washi and just like use both and, but that's not a good idea because then that means I don't want to buy more washi. So yeah, not going to do that. I'm going to stop babbling now because this video is like already 10 minutes. And so I'm going to get into what's in here. So at the bottom, I have like thank you cards. I have another journaling card and just like stuff that has coupon codes on them. And I have that here in the bottom. I just haven't gone through them yet and listed them into my um, planner inserts so that I can keep track of them. Speaking of inserts, I do have these. These are just some leftover Kiki K ones and, um, you know, the crappy paper. I don't even know why they put it in there. I'm just literally buying it for the planner. And then next I have these event reminders from Paper Lemonade Co. She's a Canadian shop and like this is comparable I dare say the same as so much crafting paper, honestly. And her prices are just about the same. And I just like her fonts better. I don't know, like no shade to so much crafting, but fonts are really big to me. And sometimes I like something a little bit more script-like versus um, versus this one. So, um, you know, it's all preference. Uh, these are printables, but they're also available as printed items in her shop, but they're online purchases. And this is how I keep up with my orders. And once what I do is... Once I make my purchase or my purchases, because normally I'm like most people, I probably buy on Fridays or Saturdays quite a bit. But what I do is I put down the shop, how much I spent. I put in the date that I ordered, the date it shipped and the date I received it. And that has really helped me like narrow down over the years, just who I like purchasing from. And maybe not years, but, you know, over the last year, since I've been buying from shops more lately, some shops ship slower than others. Some shops ship faster and it's good having that information. And also if I can squeeze it in there, I'll put in the tracking number if I've got an issue with a certain order. And then whenever I do receive it, I'll highlight it once I've left, left the Etsy review. And so that's how I know that's totally done. I like, I love leaving Etsy reviews. I don't ever want to not leave a review, even if it has to be a bad one, just because that's good feedback. Um, and when I say a bad review, I mean, one that's constructive, um, not one that's going to tear someone down. It, it would be the kind of feedback that would be, you know, hey, I wish this was here or, you know, to help the owner make their shop better. So I'm all about progression and helping folks do better. So I don't leave terrible, like, bratty reviews or anything like that. And then the next in set of inserts I have are coupon codes by Paper Lemonade Codes. Well, love these, super simple. I can even put in expiration dates if I leave room. So yeah, really nice. And the, on the printed ones, on the back, you get grid paper. Same thing with these. So yeah, that's what I've got there. And then these are just some file facts, address dividers. And then the next set here, I'm gonna try and keep it together by shop. Okay. So the next set I have are checkbook registers. These are from, shoot, I can't believe I forgot. I have her card somewhere though. And I'll just, like I said, this will be all linked in my blog, but I want to say paperly designs, but anyways, like again, comparable paper to so much crafting. I just love the font and I love to look a lot better. I, here's the meal plan sheet. So it would look like this in your planner if you want to use it that way. Me personally, I use it all in one sheet. So I write my meals. And then after I write down the meals, I've got the recipe still listed, like still up on my computer. And what I do is I just write down everything I don't have. And that's how I use that. And I just need this one sheet going to the grocery store versus trying to have multiple sheets in my planner. So I have those. And then I have this checkbook register. Um, really nice and simple. 
Again, it was just a font choice for me. Love this. It's awesome. And they are front and back. And then next, I have some... Next is pretty much all so much crafting. And I have these debt repayment plans inserts. And these are hands down. Hands down, my favorite insert for this particular um, need to track right here. Like, the only ones that would come close to this would be Sweet Quiet Design. But because I'm more neutral in my inserts... These are hands down my favorite. And this is why right here, all of this information. So when I need to make a payment and they need to know some extra stuff or whatnot, I have everything I need to know, like the account number, my username and password to log in, um, when it's due, the interest rate, you know, and even and even ask, you know, what's my goal payoff date? What's the starting balance? What's the, when did I actually finish it? What's my minimum payment? Stuff like that. And then here you just have the date you make your payment, how much you pay and the balance. Um, and then this is what sets it over the top for me. There's notes. There's room for notes. And I like writing down confirmation codes or numbers for when I make a payment. And that's what I put in here, my confirmation number. So all, everything is there. So yeah, there's that. And you get a lot of sheets too. And they're just front and back. It's pretty much the same. And then let's see. The next thing I have are these inserts. They are monthly overviews and they just have grid on the back. And I like this better than having just a monthly view because I don't need that in my personal planner. I just kind of look at this and have my weeks on two pages, which I'll show in a second. But this is just all I really need. And I just fill that out at the beginning of the month, use it to plan my weeks, and that's about it. And then lastly, what we have here are the two weeks on two pages and hands down my favorite. I really don't like using week on two pages, week on four pages. Um, this is all I need in my personal planner. I sit down, plan for the month. I add things in as they go along, as they come up. But other than that, once I sit down and do it, I'm done. And I love that. So yeah, all the other details I keep in my other planner. Um, these aren't really inserts, but I keep like some uh, deposit slips for my bank in here, along with just a notepad. I love this notepad. It's so cute. I got it from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I got this from Walmart and I think it's adorable. And I got these three from Planning Roses. I love when she sells these. They're from her mystery kits, but I don't ever really get to use her mystery kits because I always miss them. I don't know why. I'm going to have to start setting alarms or something, but they're just absolutely gorgeous. They're really great quality and I love having them, obviously, because I have like so many sticky notes. And then because I am subscribed to get the ultimate kit from School Prince Co., these are the um, sticky notes I've gotten from there. I also have another set, but I keep it in my personal planner, my Kate Spade. So yeah, it's there being used because I, I actually wanted to use them. So that's everything I keep in here. And then last but not least, these are just some other things I keep on hand, like my A5 hole punch from, it's by Recollections brand, and I got it from Michaels. And then I got these flower pots from Ikea, and I just put all of my pins here along with my scissors and a letter opener from Walmart that's like really dull. And then always on my desk, I keep undo because sometimes I have to do sticker surgery. Um, so yeah, those are all of my planning accessories and needs that I keep around, and I'll, I'll surprise You'll be surprised to know that it, with the exception of the undo, the hole punch and the pins, everything I've shown you in these last two videos, so part one and part two, they fit in one drawer. That's right, one drawer. I do have an Ikea desk and one of my legs is actually the very popular Alex drawer. And I use the third drawer from the top as my sticker drawer and it works perfectly. It's full to the brim though, but as I said, it works perfectly. It fits everything. It works perfectly. It fits everything. So that's my entire collection, how I store everything. And...